Champions League quarter-final on Tuesday evening. The tie of the evening, in my mind, is certainly Tottenham against Man City. This is the first ever European tie between the teams, so not much to judge it on that, but we know how well they've both been playing in the Premier League over the last couple of seasons, so it's set up to be an absolute cracking game. That's the way that I'd be looking at it anyway. Tottenham got their new stadium up and running last week with a good win against Crystal Palace at home, winning 2-0. Brighton... Um, suffered against Man City at the weekend, Man City winning at Wembley in the FA Cup semi-final, so they're still on for the quadruple, as we keep saying every week, it will be an unbelievable achievement if they were to actually do it. If you look at the contrast in the form of the two sides, Tottenham have lost four of the last seven, seriously struggling, I think, at the moment to put sides away. All those four defeats, they conceded two goals, so... They aren't the best defensively. That's the way that it's been. The lack of clean sheets for, for Spurs, I think, has cost them this season. They've looked a little bit shaky defensively and the goalkeeper hasn't looked the best either across the course of the season. As for Man City, 14 unbeaten since the end of January. They've had nine clean sheets during that 14-game unbeaten run. They have actually lost all four European ties against English clubs. That's something that goes against City coming into this game. Never beating an English club in European competition, Man City, out of the four ties you've played. So again, goals against them. Interesting enough for Spurs, 92% of their goals in the Champions League this season have been scored in the second half. So that's 12 out of the 13 goals they've scored have been in the second half. So again, you... If it's nil-nil or even they're a goal down at half-time, certainly don't write Tottenham off. Second half is when they've been coming good across the course of this season in the Champions League. And if you are looking at the goals, Harry Kane, five goals in this season's Champions League. He scored 14 goals in 17 Champions League appearances. He's just been incredible, really, across the course of the last few seasons in the Champions League. You can't look beyond Sergio Aguero. He scored five goals in five Champions League games this season for City. Interesting enough, the form player for Man City in the Champions League is Leroy Sané. He scored four in his last three Champions League appearances. So you're certainly looking at him as well. You can go to Jesus, uh, Sterling. There's so many. Even Silva, he's got three goals this year in the Champions League. So there's so many across City side who you could be looking to for the goals. I think... This game is going to be, it's going to set up, it's going to dictate to Tottenham. Tottenham have to get a win in this first game. That's the way that I would see this one. Tottenham have to beat City in the, in the first leg if they're going to progress. I think Tottenham will get something from the game. I don't think they'll win the match. I, I fancy a draw. Both teams to score and a draw in this game is something I'll be looking at here. I think it will be that way. I think Tottenham won't have the better of City over the two legs. I, I just can't see it. I think Man City to qualify looks an excellent bet to me in this one, but there's so many different ways. But I just think on the night, draw. Both teams to score and a draw.